Want to learn how to grow hemp indoors but don't know where to start? You're in luck because we'll be going over all the basics to get you started in under 5 minutes. We'll start with the grow tent to house the plant in, and in it we'll be adding in a grow light to mimic the sun, a clip fan to mimic the wind, an inline fan to constantly refresh the air in the grow tent so that the plant always has fresh CO2 to breathe, and something to control the light cycle, like a light controller or outlet timer. Add in a fabric pot, fill it with potting mix, and drop in a hemp seed. There are two types of seeds to choose from regular or autoflower. Regular seeds, also known as photoperiod seeds, will change its growth pattern based on the amount of lighting it gets per day, which gives you full control over how large the plants get. Autoflower seeds, also known as ruderalis seeds, will flower on its own after about a month of vegetative growth, simplifying the grow process but giving you less control of the final plant size. You can begin the germination process with just water, since seeds don't need any nutrients to start. And when the seedlings appear out of the soil, you'll first see two round leaves, known as the cotyledon. These leaves have all the nutrients the plant needs to build out its root structure. And once the root structure is in place, about a week into the seedling stage, the plant will then start to focus on its above ground growth which is when a fertilizer will need to be provided to the plant. Nitrogen is the most important nutrient the plant needs at this point, as this nutrient is required for stem and leaf growth, and almost all basic fertilizers are high in nitrogen, so you should have no problems finding a grow fertilizer anywhere. As the next true leaves start to develop, you'll see that the shape of these leaves will start to match that of a traditional hemp leaf, albeit with less blades. And as more and more leaves develop, the number of blades will increase until they all start to produce five or more. A regular hemp plant will stay in the vegetative stage for as long as it gets over 12 hours of lighting a day. And during this phase of growth, the plant will continue to get larger in size, to maximize the growth of the plant during this stage, most growers provide between 16 to 24 hours of light a day. And yes, 24 hours of light a day is perfectly fine as a hemp plant doesn't need a night cycle during the vegetative stage. When the plant is about half the size you're looking for, change the light cycle to 12 hours of light a day, which will trigger the flowering stage. The flowering stage always starts with a burst of vegetative growth, often resulting in a plant doubling in size. And once this final stretch is over, the plant will spend the next two months or so focusing on developing flowers. To aid with this, you'll want to switch the fertilizer from one high in nitrogen to one high in phosphorus. Known as either a bloom or flower fertilizer, phosphorus is needed to develop large fruits, bigger flowers, and fatter buds. If you see these start to grow on your plants, you have a male plant, which will not develop any cannabinoids. What's worse, if the pollen is left to develop and spread to any female flowers, it'll lower the cannabinoid development of these flowers, so it's best to dispose of any male plants anytime they're discovered. You can also avoid male plants altogether by starting with a feminized seed which is a hemp seed that has been developed to grow into a female plant. As the flowers start to appear, you'll see them cluster together to form colas. Over time, these colas will get larger and larger, developing a layer of mushroom-shaped resin on them, known as trichomes. The trichomes are where the bulk of the cannabinoids are located, and they'll start off looking clear, then cloudy, and finally start to turn amber in color near the end of harvest. By the time the trichomes have started to turn cloudy in appearance, the plant has peaked in cannabinoid content and can be harvested. During the stage of growth, the plants will also start to develop a unique smell that can spread outside of the grow space. To remove these smells, you can install a carbon filter to the inline fan, which will scrub the air of any smells as it leaves the grow tent. Once the plant is ready, harvesting is as easy as cutting it down. 
and you can leave the plant to dry in the grow tent for about a week before it's ready for long-term storage. Trimming can be applied to the buds both before or after drying your plants. And once in storage, the buds will slowly cure for the next few months as long as the air inside its storage container is refreshed once a day. And that's it. If you want to learn more about any steps of the grow process in more details, we'll be breaking it down step by step in the following chapters. And a big thanks to AC Infinity for sponsoring this indoor grow series. All of the grow products used in this video was provided by them. And you can save 10% off everything at acinfinity.com with coupon code HEMPINAPOP.